So we used what was called a mimeograph machine. And you hand cranked the mimeograph machine and you ran these papers off. So naturally you read these papers as you ran them off. So I did know all the invasions, the secret code words like overlord for D-Day, things and when that might be. And I made deliveries to the White House almost daily. And I went, as I said, to different offices all over Washington. And eventually, I would end up at the logistics department of the Navy because they had an opening and I had met Admiral McCormick and Captain Tobin through my deliveries and they requested my transfer. And in the military, you go where they tell you you will go. And so one day in August, we were working, and when you're in the Navy, if you ever hear, now hear this, now hear this, you're to stop whatever you're doing and pay attention. That means it's a very important announcement. So one day we heard, now hear this, now hear this, and we stepped to the center hall where we were to go if we heard that, and they said, today the first atomic bomb was dropped on what we said back then, Hiroshima. Today a lot of people say Hiroshima. But suddenly I knew what the Manhattan Project was, that code word that I kept seeing, which was the most guarded secret I've ever known of. Hardly anybody knew what it meant, but we kept reading about it in these papers then. My deliveries took me so many interesting places, and if it weren't that Mr. Kindler is going to hook me with a crook here at about 10 minutes and drag me away, I'd tell you all kinds of my horror stories. But I want you to know that, you know, this enter to learn, go for it to serve, has affected my whole life, and I know it's going to affect each one of your lives. In fact, it's starting now. I have found over the years there are many ways we can serve. I found I could serve my God, I could serve my family, I could serve my community, I could serve my state, and certainly my beloved country. And it begins now with you. You could do some volunteer services, and I think maybe your school already is doing some of that. And certainly, with your parents, your parents and you can do community volunteer service in lots and lots of ways. And as you go through school, you'll probably do even more. And I know you're going to as adults. You know, every generation since the Revolutionary War has held the torch of freedom and liberty high for the world to see, and then passed it on to the next generation coming behind me. Now my generation is really almost gone. 1,500 of us a day are dying. So we've already started handing this off to others than other generations. But you, 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 you are our future. And someday that torch is going to be handed off to you. I want to be sure that you never forget the sacrifices that all these heroes have made on your behalf. And that you, you will hold that torch as high as you can, knowing that you too are going to retain that flame that shows liberty and freedom to the whole world. God bless America and each of you. Thank you.